Barren, lifeless, cold. It can only mean one thing, winter. The sub-zero conditions weren't going to stop the Team DSD getting together for a January social. We were allowed on the venue for an 8am start and we were welcomed by an icy fog on our arrival. With the excitement palpable, it was time to get stuck in to the well-known day ticket. The draw was held a couple of days before to make the most of the daylight hours. There was no messing about, with everyone eager to get bibbies up and rods out as quick as possible. As the sun started to burn off the early morning frost, it shows just how important the warmth is at this time of year. Meanwhile, the lads were still working on getting everything set up and those rods bang on the spots. Those extra percentages can make all the difference at this time of year and it can be the difference between success or failure. Welcome to the first DSD Tackle Social of 2022. We're on the linear complex this time, fishing Oxley's Lake. The lake itself is 26 acres in size. There's a very good head of carp in here, they reckon around 1600. Although it hasn't been fishing well recently, we understand that a couple of fish came out last night before we arrived. So we're, we're hopeful for a few fish. There's 28 of the team on. We've decided not to fish either end of the lake. We've shut off the swims at the ends. Everyone's fishing from both longer banks. Um, that allows for more water per angler. Was that someone in? I did hear Yeah. What? Ollie's in. Where? Baldwin, over there. I'm gonna get my drone. Out of the blue, Baldwin's rod had gone into meltdown. And after a short battle, the first carp of the social was sulking in the sling. With another bite on the cards, Joe wasted no time in getting his rod back onto the spot. Now it was time to inspect the prize. Carp are hard to come by at this time of year, and any that pay a visit to the bank are more than welcome, especially this little mirror wearing all its winter colours in its full glory. Joe had only just hoisted the scales when Ollie's alarm next door burst into life, only for the same result to happen twice, making that two fish in the net. The boys were clearly on them. Fish safety is paramount. Whenever you remove a fish from the water, it should always be in a retainer sling. Make sure you always check the fish are fins are flat against its body and support the fish from the underneath when you lift it. There's no excuses for poor fish safety. Down here at Linear Complex on Oxy's Lake for the DSD Winter Social. Got this banging little common on a size 6 choddy and a new fluorocarbon test hookling that we'll be using here at DSD. Hopefully, should be with you lot very soon.
every angler dreams of the prizes the morning has in store. And in winter, this is more often in hope than in expectation. So when it does happen, it can make all the hours of sitting there in the cold just melt away. And in that moment, it's just you and the prize. Mickey had managed to land a slightly bigger stamp of fish. The question was, just how big was she? Coming in at just under 29 pound of orange, red, chestnut brown. What more could you ask for from a winter car? Certainly not one to forget anytime soon. Time to get the kettle on, pour a brew, and reflect on the morning's memories made. Coming up to 24 hours in on the Oxley Social. As you can probably hear, the wind is savage. It's blowing right into our faces. My alarms haven't stopped bleeping. It's freezing cold on this bank. Um, the boys on the other side, on the other hand though, are fishing off the back of the wind. There's three fish being out on that bank to 28.12. I'm just cooking up some breakfast for myself, Jack and Chris. We're gonna have a wander around, have a chat with them and see what they've had their fish on. Well on your fish, mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, the second of the session, wasn't it? Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just after doing Baldwin's fish pictures, my rod ripped off halfway through, nice, mate. mate. Yeah. Well, do you want to tell us what you got out in front of you as you swim mapped out? Yeah, a lot of gravel, a lot of gravel in open water. Decided to fish over the back of it, 16 and a half wraps in the silt. Yeah? Yeah. Why the silt over the gravel? Because I think anyone comes to a day ticket lake, fish the gravel. Find it. Yeah, find it, it, fish it, yeah. Fair enough. And what's your baiting approach been? Uh, I put about a quarter of a bucket, crumb and pellet out, a little bit of coal, mate. Yeah. yeah, little bits, little bits. And the all important rig? Three fluorocarbon D rigs, mate. Yeah? Yeah. And you're using the test hook link, the yeah. test fluoro? Yeah, the 15 pound soft, mate. Yeah, have you found it, mate? Yeah, it's lovely, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Easy to work with? Yeah, straightens out nicely. Easy to tie knots with. Yeah, it's Seven nice. Days, mate. And yeah. your hook choice? Choddy. Choddy. Why, yeah. why are you using the choddy on the wafter rigs? More aggressive, mate. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, more aggressive. Yeah, I've, I've been a fan of it for a long time, mate. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, it opens a gape out, especially with the stiffer up links. Yeah, even on a knotless lock, mate, I'd still fish. Try the hook. Happy days, mate. Yeah. You've had a few liners since I've been in the swim, mate. Yeah. So hopefully. It's looking good, one. isn't it? Well in on your fish, mate. Nice one, mate. Just shy of 29 pounds. Yeah. Can't grab all this time of year with one of them, can you? No, mate, buzzing for it. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give us an idea what you're fishing over? Uh, fishing at 15 reps on yep. the gravel area. Uh, I'm fishing the back of the gravel, just before it hits the silt. Yeah. Spodding over, corn and pellet and crushed hemp. Yeah. And then fishing uh, wafters over the top of that. On tips. what rig are you using? I've been using combi rig yeah. uh, with a test flora, 15 a pounds. Test flora, yeah. 15, 15 pounds, pounds soft. Yeah. How are you finding it? Oh, loving it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. yeah nice Good to stuff. Work with, Good it? stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're mega impressed with it, mate. Uh, what's your hook bait choice been? Uh, 15 mil little pop up uh, plastics. Yeah. Tipped so with corn. The weight of the hooks. Yeah, the weight down. of the hooks pulling it down, keeping right. it just wafting about. All right, mate. We'll look forward to you having another one, hopefully. Hopefully. Off Still time. This, off the back of this wind. <laughs> Be lucky, mate. Nice one. Cheers, mate. I'm going to show you how I tie my fluorocarbon D rig that I landed my fish on yesterday afternoon. I'll start by taking a size six choddy from the packet. I'll poke the material through the back of the eye, leaving a long tag end. I'll then carry out a six turn knotless knot down the shank of the hook, securing that with my finger and my thumb. I'll then pass the material back through the back of the eye, pulling it tight to bed that knot down nicely. And I'll take a micro ring swivel and with the ring 
poke the material through the ring, through the back of the eye again, cutting a nice tag end, blobbing with a lighter and pushing back through to form that D. Once I've done that, I'll take, in this case, a 12mm wafter, a nice, simple, neat, effective rig. Really happy with it. It came to the middle rock, which is uh, 14 wraps, I believe. On a, a white pop up. That brings to a close our 48 hours on Oxley's. It's been your typical winter session. Cold, the wind has been savage, and the pressure has been through the roof. The boys fishing off the back of the wind, they're the ones who have managed to nick a few bites. So it's been clear that's where the fish have been holding up. Uh, the bailiff popped around this morning as well. He said the whole complex has been fishing really, really slow. So for those guys to have nicked a couple of fish, it's been a bit of a result, to be fair. Even though the fish haven't played ball, all the boys and all the girls have had a great time, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the next social.